Welcome back to Mac Gourmet Kitchen. Today I'll be showing you guys how you can make a lovely papa punch. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and also click that notification bell. The ingredients for this papa punch will be down in the description box so you guys can just go there and check it out. Javi Beats exclusive. Here's your ingredients to make that lovely pop out punch. I'm using one teaspoon of vanilla essence, one teaspoon of nutmeg, one teaspoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon of salt. I'm using four ripe pop out. You're gonna need one tin of condensed milk, one tin of Irish mash, one tin of nutriment, one bottle of dragon, and also one bottle of malta. Now you wanna start off by peeling your pop outs. You want to do it. Peel off all of that skin off of it. Just like that, guys. So, you want to peel them, guys. Now, after you peel them, you're going to cut them in half. Now, you're going to clean out all of, the, all of this seed that you got inside of it. I'm going to take out, use a spoon. Like that, guys, just like that. I'm trying to use it for you. So, as I said, you want to clean them up, make sure they're properly clean. Take out these bits inside of it. Just like that, guys. After you finish. Clean up, clean out your seeds, cut off your papa, and you're just going to cut them up. So guys, cut them up in cubes so it's easier for your blender to blend it. Yes, guys, because you're going to blend it in the blender. So you want to cut them up. Just like that, guys. Now guys, I want to repeat the same process again. Peel your poppers and clean out the seeds same way. Yes guys. Just like that guys, you can use a spoon, you can use a knife. Which one you prefer is up to you. For the seed, I'm just going to pop them up guys. Guys, just like what you see I'm doing it, just slide the knife underneath to get out all of that seed, just like that. Simple and easy guys. I'm just going to dice them up now. So you back when I'm finish cutting up all my pop -outs. Now there you have it guys. I finished cutting up my papa. I'm gonna cut them up in cubes. Papa is smelling so nice, guys, and it's tasting so lovely. Now I'm gonna add them to my blender. Now 
guys, after you finish putting that pop oil into your blender, you're just going to add your nutrients, some of your nutrients to it. Just for the blender so it's easy to blend it. is also good for your blood flow you got vitamin C inside of it guys otherwise it's good for you it's a nice juice this guys I make it it's a wonderful juice and I'm gonna bend for the next minute or two finished now. Just gonna put that blender on the side. And I'm just gonna pour this down into my basin guys. That guys looking rich and lovely. It's smelling so nice guys. of my ingredients inside of this basin. Pop all of this blend up guys. And add the rest of my nutrients. Guys if you don't have nutrient you can use supplegent. If you don't have any nutrient guys and I'm just gonna add my Irish mash now. Make sure you shake it guys shake it well before you pour it out inside of it. dragon inside of it now guys you don't have to add any dragon or your malta it's optional it's up to you guys, it's up to you if you want to add it inside of it I'm just going to give it a now make sure you stir it properly guys all of that nutrient and Irish mustard that you just put in there and you drag on. Make sure you stir it around properly, guys. I'm gonna add my malt inside of it now. Salt. This is 
up and keep it longer in your fridge if you have it in there long. So I'll preserve it guys. Just mix up all of those ingredients now. See you when I'm finished mixing up all of these ingredients guys. I'll get back to you. Now I'm finished stirring all of my ingredients in my papa. Now I'm going to add my condensed milk inside of it to sweeten it. Guys, you can sweeten it to your taste. It's up to you. Guys, if you don't have any condensed milk, you can also use honey. That's also good to sweeten it to guys. It's up to you. If you want to use the honey, I'm just using half of this condensed milk first. Mixing your condensed milk properly. Mix it in well, guys. See when I'm finished mixing up my condensed milk in this cup of punch, guys. Yes. I'm just gonna give it a taste now to see if I can get any more of my condensed milk. It's a lovely bottom to take a little bit more of my condensed milk. I'm just going to pour some more inside. So I'm just going to mix in my condensed milk now to my pop up punch. There you have it, guys. I'm putting in all my of my ingredients inside of my papa when I blend it up so guys this is it I'm finished sweetening it it's tasting lovely guys now guys I'm just gonna pour it back in my blender just to give it a second blend just to blend up all my ingredients that I pour in there although I've already mixed it around but I rather throw it back in my blender guys and just blend it up so you get that properly blend all that and cinnamon that you throw in there with the guineas and your malta Irish mashing and nutrient and also the condensed milk guys I rather pour it back in my blender it's up to you guys if you want to do it but I'm just going to pour it back into my blender and give it a blend yes guys I'm just going to blend this for about a minute. Guys, this is it. Tasting so lovely. 
all this just want to go inside the fridge to cool now just got to have a glass of this with my dinner later on wow it's supposed to taste amazing when it's cold that's how you want to prepare your papa punch with all those lovely ingredients that i poured in there yes guys now i'm just going to pour this into my glass jug and put it into the fridge look at that guys looking so rich wow i need to have a glass of this guys Thanks for watching Matt Gourmet Kitchen. Let me know what you think about this lovely papa punch. Will you try it at home guys? Hit me in the comment section and let me know guys. Until next time.